Good morning, good morning, good morning to my St. John's Community Baptist Church family and all of those who are joining us online. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Pastor Phil Gilmore and today as we continue to journey on in our 40 Days of Prayer Spiritual Growth Campaign, I will narrate for you the devotional week three, day 20. Psalm 23, two. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Psalm 119.11 I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Matthew 4.4 4. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Romans 10, 17. So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Meet the needs of our empty souls. Where do you run when your soul is empty? When you are worn and weary do you seek fulfillment from your own power, effort, and plans? Or do you run to Jesus and seek the comfort that comes from knowing him and his word? Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 says, Come to me, all you who are weary, and I will give you rest. It's natural for us to try to find satisfaction in other things. It's been the case since Adam and Eve. But the only thing that can truly make us whole is Jesus. The closer we run to Jesus, the more we will know him and his word. And this will keep us from sin. Jesus himself turned to the scripture to rebuke Satan's temptations in Matthew 4. And as the psalmist writes in Psalm 119.11, hiding his word in our hearts keeps us from sinning against God. Jesus calls himself the good shepherd, and says like sheep, his followers will know his voice. John 10, 27. As David writes, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Psalms 23, 2, 3a. Do you know the word of the Lord? Can you discern the voice of the good shepherd? The more time we spend with Jesus, the incarnate word, and in our Bibles, the written word, the clearer his voice becomes. And he will restore our empty souls. Reflection prayer. Father in heaven, we confess and repent of all the times we have tried to treat our emptiness under our own power and through worldly means. We acknowledge that you and you alone are the key to a fulfilling, whole, and satisfying life. Lead us to a greater appreciation of your written word and a greater desire to study it and know it because knowing the word allows us to know you better. 
And in knowing you, we can find rest. Amen. Please reflect on Psalms 23 again as you end your prayer time.